flavored coffee. The best. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the Ryobi One Plus heat gun against a corded heat gun. I asked my friend to help me out with this because he has a, a corded heat gun by Wagner. Now, I do apologize about this, that this is not a, a Ryobi heat gun versus a Ryobi corded heat gun. For the past week, I've been trying to find a used or new corded heat gun online and also uh, on eBay, Amazon, and in the Facebook Marketplace. On the Facebook Marketplace, no one is selling one right now. Uh, they, I did find one a few months ago, but I didn't need it then. I didn't think that I would. Uh, and when it comes to online, I can get one, but it's from a different country, and the heat gun itself is like about 100 then the additional cost would be like about 40 to $50 to ship it. So I was, I am unable to get a recorded Ryobi heat gun, so I just want to apologize for going out of brand when it comes to this one video because you know me, I'm a Ryobi, I'm the Ryobi guy. And so everything that I use on, the, on camera is Ryobi. But for this test, I have no choice but to use another brand. And that's just because I was unable to get a Ryobi corded heat gun. My friend James Spears did help me out with this. And uh, he uses a, a, a heat gun to build costumes. And so he uses uh, foam and he uses his heat gun all the time to uh, help shape and get his foam ready to build costumes. I'll throw some pictures uh, uh I'll throw some pictures of his work uh, in this video. If you want to check him out, he has his own uh, YouTube channel called Foam Club, which that is sponsored by Laugh and Dragon Foundries, which is his company. Uh, and so, yes, he does go live on Facebook through Laugh and Dragon Foundries and Foam Club. Uh, so just check out his page if you want to watch him build some costumes live. He does use Ryobi products. He has a ton of Ryobi stuff now. Let's go to my uh, good friend James Spears for his uh, usage and review of the OnePlus heat gun versus a corded heat gun. Hey everybody, James here with Laughing Dragon Foundries. Um, Dave Nicholas over at Ryobi Man Caver on YouTube and the Ryobi Rebels uh, Facebook group <clears throat> was kind enough to let me borrow his Ryobi heat gun that he just got in the mail. Uh, he asked me to do a comparison review to the heat gun that I've been using, which of course is the Wagner good old standby uh, from Home Depot. Uh, it's corded. Obviously the Ryobi is not. And um, so we're going to put them through their paces today and basically see where, uh, where they line up in terms uh, of usage uh, because I do use a heat gun a lot for anything from um, heat sealing foam uh, in some cases speed drying glue <clears throat> and then also using the uh, using the heat gun to uh, to cut to create details in the uh, foam creations that we make and seal edges and whatnot so without any further delay let's get started Okay, so this is primarily the foam that we use. Um, it's just these are floor mats that you get from uh, Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people get them from different locations. That's where I get mine because it's inexpensive. It's, uh, it has a, a finer grain texture on the back. Um, and what I'm going to do for the purposes of the test is I'm going to draw a line right down the center here. Uh, we'll use one heat gun on one side and the other heat gun on the other side. So I have a four amp hour battery here. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Ryobi. All right. And to engage the uh, the trigger, you actually have to push down on the uh, on the lock button here. When I say lock, it is a press and click affair. 
um, but it does not stay on. So you have to keep that trigger depressed in order to, uh, to use the gun. So let's go. So, I will uh, leave it to the timekeepers to time exactly how long that took. But now, we're going to go ahead and move to the other side with the Wagner. Now, I have a notion that the, that the advantage on this, is, this um, task is probably going to go to the Wagner only because... I can push this thing up to maximum heat of 1250 degrees and on the high setting the fan does run faster uh, than the uh, than the Ryobi okay so there we are 1250 degrees and it is up to heat so here we go So without even knowing what the timing results were, I already know that the Wagner, let's not melt the camera, um, I already know that the, uh, that the Wagner uh, is a lot faster, all right? Got the same quality of sealing on both sides of the line here, Wagner versus the Ryobi. Um, the Wagner does have, again, at the higher heat setting and the faster fan, uh, it does have a wider path. That it seems to uh, that it seems to cover as well. So, again, right now I'm going to say that the advantage uh, seems to be going to Wagner. So something else that I've noticed, um, as you can tell from the uh, sound here, the Wagner um, I've switched it into the cool down phase. So the green light. If it was in the heat phase, there would be uh, red lights uh, illuminating the back of the control panel here. Um, the green means it's in cooldown mode, and it will not shut off until it reaches the end of that cooldown mode. There you go. The Ryobi didn't have a cooldown uh, period. So as soon as you let go of that trigger, it's done. Probably did it to conserve battery. Okay, so the other application that I use the heat gun for is to uh, to bring out details that I carve into the foam um, to create panel lines, uh, decorative and artistic details, and that's accomplished by, of course, drawing in the details first, as I've done on this test piece of foam, and then taking a razor blade, uh, whether a utility knife or an X-Acto, the deeper the cut, the wider the line it makes, typically. Uh, of course, if you cut all the way through, then you cut the foam in half, and that's too far. Um, so then, after that, I'll hit it with the heat gun, and it'll open those lines up and make some very beautiful details. I'm going to actually put my heat-resistant glove on here, <clears throat> uh, because the heat gun will be a little closer to my hand when I put these details into the foam. All right. So, again, I've done this with the Wagner. I want to see how the Ryobi performs now with the same task. So here we go. Okay, we are up to heat. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, the lines are opening up nicely. One thing I'm noticing is that it's not as, it doesn't have the same tendency as the Wagner uh, to scorch the foam, which is really, really nice. I can spend more time on these lines without worrying about getting the foam too hot. Okay, and as you can see, we now have some pretty nifty details. 
uh, again without any scorching of the foam. Quick recap. The Ryobi versus the Wagner. Uh, obvious advantage for the Ryobi is the fact that it's cordless. Um, it's light. I think the other thing that I like about it is that it's light. It's very maneuverable. I love the fact that this thing is portable. Um, it is very good with the detail work, as you saw. Um, I kept it in place a little bit longer on a couple of uh, passes than I would have even with the Wagner at the lowest setting. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the dispersion of the heat um, coming out of here or just the fact that it doesn't get as hot uh, as the Wagner. Uh, again, the Wagner starts at 850. This goes up to 875. So I usually, usually use the Wagner on the lowest setting, again, to avoid scorching the foam. And I didn't have that problem with the Ryobi um, at its, obviously, its max setting. So I'm thinking, again, it must have something to do with the, uh, with the heat pattern or the, you know, the way that the heat comes out of it. As it relates to the power um, of this, I also want to point out the fact that while using the Wagner uh, a couple of times, now this may or may not affect you, a couple of times using the Wagner um, in the past, I've actually tripped a circuit breaker because I had too many things running at once. You know, I had a fan going or, you know, for ventilation, maybe I had a little space heater going for a little extra heat. Uh, and then crank this baby up and then knock the breaker out. Ordinarily, it wouldn't be a problem. You just go reset the breaker. Unfortunately, for me, it was a problem because as you can see behind me here, right over here, we have a 3D printer. And I was in the middle of a 50 hour print and we had to start the print over. So 25 hours of printing and the filament that goes with that was wasted. So this, you're off the grid. Now you would say, just don't use the heat gun when you're printing, of course. Um, but now with this, we don't have to worry about it. Well, most of the tools that we're using now, we've got again, the glue gun, we've got the glue gun, we've got the, uh, the heat gun, uh, we've got the fan, we've got a radio, uh, we've got a rotary tool and a soldering station all running off the same battery system. So the huge advantage is, other than charging batteries, um, there's no additional draw on the grid, on your power supply. So we don't have to worry about uh, Mr. 3D printer, printer over here shutting down, who we lovingly refer to as Jarvis. Uh, we, we don't have to worry about that shutting down uh, because we tripped a breaker by accident. So just another plus for me, uh, and again, Maybe that affects you, maybe it doesn't. In any event, this has been James with Laughing Dragon Foundries. Um, keep your glue hot and your hopes high. Is this a little pricey? Yes. Yeah, it is. I'm not gonna lie. This is, I'd say, I'd say 60 bucks this should cost. 60, 65 dollars this should cost. $100 if it comes with a charger and a battery, yes. But what Ryobi did is they just went with their competitor's price, Milwaukee, and they priced it the same as that. And I'm pretty sure that the Milwaukee one is just works just as well as this. Uh, so you don't really need to do a comparison between that because both tools are restricted to what their battery, what the battery can do. A corded heat gun will always be more powerful than this. But that's it for this video. I uh, This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.